All right, we are rolling. So tell us your name, where you're from. Uh, my name is Peter McCoy I'm from Portland, Oregon. Awesome. Yeah. And um, so we had a lot of rave about your uh, contributions to the workshop. So I just want to say hats off to you. So Great. everything's going really well. Uh, any highlights of uh, your own personal takeaway from the workshop? Um, well, just seeing such a huge project be undertaken in such a short amount of time is pretty inspiring. And I don't know a ton about aquaponics and stuff coming into it. So I feel like even just coming into the middle of it and seeing the systems, um, I don't know, I just learned a lot by seeing it. It seems pretty replicable. And I mean, I'm totally a big supporter of the modular. Obviously, do it yourself, be easy to build with the simplest, cheapest materials. And it seems like everything along the way, but also the best. Nice. It seems like every step of this has been accomplishing that. So, what has inspired you to really take the kind of approach that you have? I mean, most of the people I've talked to said that you've really broken it down. You've been able to translate a lot of complex things into making very simple that people can actually put into practice immediately. So, uh, what are some things that really kind of drive that kind of thinking or even just your approach? Uh, I mean, I've studied mycology um, for 15 years and I know how hard it is typically, how inaccessible it typically is for people. And I've read a lot of books on it and most of them are presented in a way that makes the science um, and just the study of fungi and the appreciation of them very hard to, to absorb. And, you know, nature is complex, but also at the same time it's simplistic, you know, and elegant. So, and the fungi are just the same, right? There's, we could go into the details about how, you know, all the minutia that's very uh, complex and I mentioned all those things, but also the end of the day, what's practical and what actually translates to our... So there's a lot of compassion method. knowing that, you know, it's been 15 years yeah. of seeing yeah. the information that's not available. So yeah, I think yeah. it's amazing work you're doing. Uh, I've learned a lot personally and uh, looking forward you know, to implementing what you're doing. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your website and about your work and so that people can find you and even just uh, you know, be able to support what you're doing. Yeah, the website's uh, radicalmycology.com and there's a lot of free resources on there including some cultivation tips and videos and free resources. Um, I teach classes and I'm also coming out with a book in February um, really exposing and opening up the world of mycology and I think a way that's never been done before. Awesome. So what's one thing about your field that you're studying right now that you feel that people really need to know? I mean, I think you had mentioned that there's a very small percentage of what has been done. So yeah. if you could just kind of just touch on that real quick. I mean, generally speaking, mycology is one of the youngest natural sciences. We know very little and cultivation wise, we are at this very unique point in human history where we are able to cultivate fungi today in a way with such ease and accessibility and low cost than has ever, that is unprecedented. Awesome. And it's much easier than has ever been done been, been possible throughout the 20th century when the science was developing. And it's quickly, very rapidly evolving because these, these the skills of cultivation are becoming easier and all the applications of cultivation are becoming increasingly apparent. And new stuff is coming out all the time and anybody can actively contribute to it. Currently, there's not enough, really, in my opinion, and that's why a big reason why I do what I do is trying to get more people to pursue and further this art and science. Awesome, man. We really appreciate your work. Uh, definitely very much valuable here at Open Source Ecology, as well as even to the open source world, but even just to the community of people that really have interest in learning. So thank you so much. Hats off to you. Great job on the workshop. Had tremendous great feedback on that. And we look forward to your book coming out. We also look forward to any videos that you have coming forward. So one last time, your website again? Uh, radicalmycology.com. All right, thanks a lot, Peter. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it, man.